Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing yesterday's problem of the day that is number of distinct words with k maximum contiguous words. So this is a dynamic programming problem and this problem appeared in Adobe itself. Now let us read and understand the problem statement. We need to find the number of unique words that consist of lower case alphabets only of length n that can be formed with at most k in contiguous vowel. So, how can we solve this problem? And what is the meaning of this problem? In this problem, we have lower case alphabets. Lower case alphabets means lower case a to z. A to z. Then we need to make up a string of length n, which can be formed by at most k contiguous words. So, if we talk about this, that is n. n is equals to two. The values can be made as b and b. Then it can be b and c. Then it can be b and d. Then b and e. So there are 441 unique values. So b and v would be considered as one. That is why there are 441 values that can be made. But it is not feasible enough to do it. So we leave them. Now, let us first enumerate the number of vowels. So a, e, i, o, and u. So in total we have five vowels itself. And what are the remaining number of consonants that are twenty-one itself? Okay, const. So, how can we do it? The first observation is that we don't need the string. No string is needed. We can just compute the result, and as we need to return only the count, it is very much feasible. But how to take out all the values that are there? So, we can have a function where dp of i And J would tell us the length of string is will be equal to I, and J would be the number of vowels that we are using. We can do that. Next, what are the probable operations? If I is equals to whatever, but if J is equals to zero, then we would have the number of A B C D A C D D not A B C D B C B D B F these all things. Okay, this is what we can do. So whatever be the value, we would have that sum will be multiplied with the value twenty one itself. This is what we can do. Now the next thing what needs to be done is we need to have the power thing. We need to multiply that thing. So to multiply that thing, we have already designed a power function. We would talk about that. So five to the power five with modulo m itself. So modulo m modulo m m's value is ten to the power nine plus seven. This is a prime number that we take to have that modulo to keep it within the range. Okay. So if j is greater than i, if the number of vowels that we need to use is greater than the length of the string, then the value would be equal to zero itself. Now what is the next condition? If j is equals to equals to i, then what would be the value? The value would be the number of i we would be using the number of length with the value five itself. Okay, so we need to use all the j. So five to the power i, and the rest of the condition what we can do is dp of i minus one dot j. Okay, multiplied with five itself. This is what we can do. Okay, fair enough. Now let's start implementation of this problem. Now to solve this problem, what we have done is. we have already implemented the power function where we are initializing the result as 1 so that it won't affect the result neither it would make it zero so if the value is greater than y if the power is greater than 0 we check if the last value is an odd or not if it is odd we are multiplying it to that and then the even number would remain if that is a even number we are multiplying that number with x and we are decreasing it okay Then I have initialized the modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7. Then dp of n plus 1 does k plus 1 with everything as zero. Then the sum is zero itself. Now let us start writing the for loops. So int i is equals to 1. i is less than equal to n itself and i plus plus. Then we come across the things that needs to be done. Okay, dp of i n z j would be nothing but sum multiplied with the number of consonants because we can only use consonants at this point. Then dp of i dash zero would be modulo equal to mod itself. Then sum would be equal to dp of i dash zero itself. Then we move forward and we have for is equals to int j 
is equals to 1 and j is less than equals to k and then j plus plus okay and then if j is greater than i itself then i told that dp of i dash j would be equal to 0 okay then what are the next condition that needs to be handled if number of j is equals to equals to i then dp of i dash j would be equal to power of 5 the number of vowels if it equal to the i value with the mod itself okay then comes the else condition else condition we are free to use the number of vowels condition but dp of i dash j will be equal to dp of i minus 1 dash j minus 1 okay and everything would be multiplied with the number of vowels itself then we do the mod thing we can we need to do it outside so that it would be generalized for all the three cases so dp of i dash j then modulo is equals to mod itself okay then sum plus is equals to whatever be the value of dp of i dash j okay but then what we are doing is sum modulo is equals to mod itself okay why because all the things after getting added needs to be modul done modulo again and we are returning the sum itself so now let us see again yes we are getting the expected value and yes seems like we would get an ac yes we have solved this problem successfully that's it for today thank you and have a nice day